it's four in the morning, but it's actually just after eight. It still feels like we're leaving really early. It makes us feel like proper travellers. We're driving to St Andrews today, and then to a few more little places, and we'll end up in the town of Callender this afternoon. So it's a big day of driving, I think four and a half or five hours across the course of the day. But we'll do the first two and a half uh, this morning. I'm Melody and this is Michael. In 2019 we moved to London to teach and backpack across Europe. Flash forward to 2022 and we have finally made it back for our next adventure. So subscribe and let's get going. Incredibly windy in St Andrews and all our audio sounds like this. So we're just going to show you some footage of it anyways. It's all a bit shaky because it was almost impossible to hold the camera still. on the edge of the harbour to timber and it looks like at some point lift the timbers and then the harbour like a lock. There's corresponding grooves on either side of the entrance to the it. Quite interesting. It doesn't look like it's been a really long time. In fact the timber is bolted down so that it can't be taken away. Embracing Scotland and making sure that we drink Iron Brew instead of Coca Cola. Turns out Iron Brew Extra is actually better than normal Iron Brew. Uh, we are convinced it's just a combination of creaming soda and Fanta. Maybe we'll try and make our own Iron Brew at home. Iron Brew. The brew for you to pull you on through. Where are we? We're up. 
above a pub. <laughs> uh, third floor it is very quaint. In the little town of Calendar. What have you got? Haggis. I've kind of forgotten what it is, but I don't really need to know until after I eat it. The top. Tastes good. So this morning we have driven from Calendar to Glasgow. Now we've got to return the hire car. So Michael is just fueling up and then we walk to the bus stop and then we get to Edinburgh this afternoon, ready to go on our big train journey to London tomorrow. So that is where we are at at the moment. We feel very lucky that we had booked the train not for today because there's train strikes apparently even the tube's not running in london so very convenient that we are leaving tomorrow um and we'll have a nice night in edinburgh so that's pretty much where we're at at the moment we are on the bus head finally finally it was they left him in his lane because the guy didn't bring his car to work so we couldn't log on to the machine. So there were Sorry. six blokes in high vis on the bus trying to figure it out. That was pretty funny. And in the end, they just said, everyone just get off. Yeah. So, so we're off. We didn't even need a ticket. No, we got for free. Saved 10 pounds. That's all right. Yeah. So we'll be in Edinburgh in like an hour 20. And hopefully going to the Haggis Burger place like that we did last time. Last time. Had a pig on the spit in the window. See if we can find it again. Not long in Scotland, and I've got some hog, some applesauce, a buck haggis on my bun as well. <laughs> this is the Oxford Bar, which for Ian Rankin fans is the uh, watering hole of the main character in his series of novels. Uh, we're here before 10, so it's not open. But I'm sure if it was, I could go in, have a drink, and rest my foot on the uh, bar. Which, interesting fact, the author mistakenly put that there was a footrest around the bar, and the publican had it added several years later, after many disgruntled tourists came in wishing to have a drink and rest their feet. Officer Bar. Well, we've had a successful trip to the Oxford Bar. They tell me that Ian Rankin was in last night, according to Steve, the local bloke from Corner from Lancashire. We uh, made some friends from Australia and from the UK. They even bought us around. So the Aussies must have been a hit. But the Oxford Bar, one of Edinburgh's smallest and most original pubs, is definitely worth a visit.